What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our terror in the high master here, but this time using a crazy fun co-star Flamigo team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all all of my videos go live but if you guys been keeping up with my content you guys know the past two videos we made where we showcase some very strong meta teams so in today's video i want to jot it down a little bit and bring you guys a nice little off meta team but we are still pretty high in the master top 2000 so hopefully this team can still uh deal with all the meta pokemon but to get us started here with today's team preview we got the one and only flamingo love this pokemon little flamingo pokemon with co-star as its ability and the choice scarf as item it's rock and brave bird aerial ace close combat and double kick for its move set Espathra is going to be our second Pokemon with Speed Boost, which is a top tier ability, alongside with the Mirror Herb as item. It's rocking Sword Powered, Dazzling Gleam, Calm Mind, and Protect for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Mousehold. Mousehold is going to be great for helping this team set up because it has Follow Me and it can help protect our Pokemon. It also has Friend Guard with the Focus Ash, with Taunt, Encore, and Protect as its other three moves. Azumarill is going to be a big part of this team considering it is not just any Azumarill, it is going to be Belly Drum Azumarill. So the whole premise behind the team is to get out like Mousehold or Volcarona, Follow Me slash Rage Powder Shots, let Azumarill set up the Belly Drum, and then eventually when our support Pokemon dies out there, we bring out Flamigo, which then co-stars taking the plus six boost with it and having the choice scarf on top of that so could be absolutely amazing hopefully we can pull it off maybe we will it'll be awesome but azumarill has huge power and the citrus berry as item rocking liquidation aqua jet belly drum and protect volcarona is going to be our four or fifth pokemon with flame body and the rocky helmet and then fiery dance struggle bug rage powder like we already mentioned and protect for our final move Last Pokemon on today's team is one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon. It is Brute Bonnet. Looks like a little dinosaur with its stubby legs and tail. I love it all around. It has Protosynthesis, Booster Energy as its item, and then it's rocking Seed Mom, Sucker Punch for Stab, and First Turn Priority, and then it's got Close Combat and Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, but the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Belly Drum Azumarill and Co-Star Flamigo team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a tough team here. A very tough team. Indeed, an Arm Rouge combo can pretty much solo encounter this team. Hopefully, we can get after it and grab ourselves a win. They also have the Dragapult, the Roar Moon, Palafin, and Fluttermane as other four Pokemon. But again, how should I play this one? Because they just solo me, right? I could go in with Espather and just say screw the Belly Drum combo. Might be our best bet best bet because Espather's not too shabby. I do like me some Espather. I can always calm mine, try to get that set up, get the speed boost rolling, and kind of get after the match that way. But if they lead Indeed Arm Rouge, we have a problem. We have a big time problem. I do have the Rocky Helmet. I mean, doesn't really do anything up against them. I'm just trying to figure out ways around this. I could go in with you. You're not too bad, but you can take some crazy damage too. The Arm Rouge's Armor Cannon. And this is where I wish we had like an actual move that's not Sucker Punch for Dark. But I'm still going to lead the Brute Bonnet and I am going to go in. We're going with Mouse Hold. I think we just go in with like, with, like S Path or try to get that Pokemon set up, right? I'm gonna go S Path right here. Hmm. Do I rip with S Path or do I go with more of a Pokemon? I say we try out the combo. Say okay, screw it. We go with Zoomrel alongside with Mousehold. We're gonna go Volcarona. We're gonna go Volcarona. We're gonna go with Zoomrel. We're gonna bring Co-Star and then we're gonna bring the Root Bonnet. I get it? I think I got it. I think I clicked it done in the perfect amount of time. We're still gonna go for the Belly Jump combo. Screw it. We're gonna hope that we can pull it off. Again, if Indeedee Arm Rouge does come out here for the lead, we are going to be sitting in a tough position. But if they don't, if they don't, which there's a possibility they don't, we could definitely get thriving here. We'll see. We shall see. And let's see who they lead. Okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with it. So Palafin might want to just flip turn out of here. Uh, huh, what do I do here? So I wouldn't be able to Aqua Jet after. Would not be able to aqua jet after this, but I still want to go for the belly drum. So you screw it, belly drum, and just rage power the shot. If Volcarona goes down, Volcarona goes down. It's not that big of a deal. We're thriving with that. I think I really do like that. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pop this out. They definitely have to have indeed here. Could be popping a trick room here as well. Trick room could be a little ugly, right? Trick room could be ugly, but then that leads to zoom rail to kind of just get thriving with the speed. But I'm low battery, but if you guys been watching my videos, every here and there we get the low battery. You guys know. I keep it on me. I keep it plugged in, ready to go just for you guys. Now I'm plugged in, ready to rock out. This thing's gonna flip turn into me. 
take some Rocky Helmet damage. Awesome. Give me a burn on that thing as well. Do not get the burn. I was going to say, Flame Body would be awesome. And if I had to guess, Indeedee is definitely popping out here. Which is rather scary. Definitely scary, right? This might this might do me dirty. I might not be able to Belly Jump after this. I might not be able to Belly Jump. Because we know Expanded Force is popping, right? We know Expanded Force is coming out here. We know Expanded Force is popping. Special Defense is going to be boosted. We can't Aqua Jet after this, which really sucks. And here comes the Expanded Force. So we're able to eat up a Citrus Berry. And we can still get off Belly Jump. Pretty big for us. So we get off Belly Drum. I can bring out the co star from Nigo, which is big time. And then I think Follow Me is just going to pop out here. Hmm. Big time Belly Drum. Oh my lord. <laughs> We're low on HP. Uh, so I'm maximizing my attack. I got the Belly Drum rolling. I got to go in Flamigo, right? I got to co star this while we can. So I'm going to go in with the co star. Uh, probably Terrasalize my Flamigo here. And then try to take out one of their Pokemon. Because this thing's fast. This thing's cooking. So I'm going to actually protect you because I can't really do much with you. And I'm going to Terrasalize in a straight steal. And do I just double kick? Like double kick should be able to KO, right? You're plus six. You are plus six. We have the choice to move though. That's a real quiet. That's a real problem. Double kick is going to be not very effective on the both. And I think Brave Bird is just going to be our play. Terrasalize, go into a Brave Bird. Start to rip into this. That's my play. Brave Bird. Just start dumping all these Pokemon. We're going to go after the Armourage first. If you follow me, he follow me. That's fine. We're looking to just soak up this shot and uh, keep Azumarill alive for a little bit. Because there are two very strong Pokemon on the field. Two very strong Pokemon. But if you would have just led Indeedee and Armourish, you would have really had a big time upper hand on us. But we were able to just get after the matches. So Protect comes out from Azumarill. Let's see what he ends up going for. Follow me does come out here. Follow me ends up coming out here. That's totally fine. We're going to Brave Bird. Take out Indeedee, no problem. And then get after this next turn. So Indeedee's gone. We say see you later, Indeedee. Expanded Force definitely coming out here yet again, which absolutely sucks. I would like to take out this terrain, but I can't really do much about it. Recoil is going to take me some damage, and then Expanded Force is going to fly. We block, and then Flamigo. Should be able to soak, right? You should be able to soak this, right, Flamigo? Awesome. Beautiful. So Flamigo gets a soak. Brave Bird is going to KO us, which absolutely sucks, but... Huh. At the same time, maybe we can get off another move with Zoomero. Let's see who he goes with. The Palafin's going to come out here. Who's the, who do I take out is the real question. Who do I get rid of? Because who do I have in the back end? I brute bought it. Hmm, I, I gotta take out. I gotta take out the armors, right? I have to take out the armors. We're gonna hope armors doesn't protect. It doesn't. So we get rid of you. We'll say see you later. Recoil damage is going to KO me. That's so tough. Like if, if, the, if the terrain did not block first turn priority moves, oh my lord. We'd be ripping. But Kosar Flamigo does some nice damage here. Palfin is going to take us out, and I don't think we have enough firepower in the back end to, to win this match. I don't think we have it in us. Wave Crash can come out here, pick up the KO. Uh, hmm. They also still have Terra, which I think. I think Palfin. Right? And all I have left is Brute on it, but I do have, I do have lovely little booster energy. The other final Pokemon is gonna come out here. It's a two v one situation, and oh. Yeah, GG's good game. Thank you very much for coming out. <laughs> it is all over. It is all over. Unless. Unless. Trucker Punch can KO. Is it a possibility? Attack's heightened. A Sucker Punch can KO. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for a Sucker Punch KO here. I'm looking for it. I'm going to look for it. I'm going to say screw you, Palfin. Palfin might even protect here. Or even Terrasalize, right? This seems like a problem. Or you just protect. Oh, no. That could have been a really good turn from us to just drop a seed bomb and take out the Palaf in this turn. That could have been really good for us. I just think we could have got rid of... Oh, wow. We had a shot at win this battle. I mean, I think it's just wave crashing. Uh, do I get rid of that? I could spore this thing. Uh, might know that we're going for sucker punches. I'm going to just rip into this thing. I'm gonna see Terrasalization. Wow, we could have had a shot at win this, but actually, I don't really know because once this thing hits us with a, a fairy move, it's pretty much wraps, right? Yeah. So, match number one, not looking so hot. We got the combo set up, but I kind of knew from the beginning it was gonna be a little tough. It was definitely gonna be a little tough. But Wave Crash flies out here. That's gonna deal a little bit of damage. It actually did more than last one. And Fluttermane's just gonna say Night Night with a nice little dazzling gleam, right? Yeah. See you later. 
good game. We did get the belly jump combo set up, but I feel like the one thing that destroyed us was that psychic terrain. If the psychic terrain wasn't there, we probably would have won that match, no problem. Second match coming at you guys. Let's get after it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Going up against a Ferrigograph Trick Room team with Gaston. We're definitely going to have to watch out for Storm during Gaston. That seems like it could be a problem, but I still kind of want to set up the belly drum, right? It seems pretty straightforward. Let's set up the belly drum and get after it. So I'm going to go Azumarill. Do I go Mousehold or do I go Volcarona here? Volcarona is not bad. I know they have the Ferrigograph. They're probably going to leave Ferrigograph. Could be a little bit of a problem. They might also lead the... Uh, what is that? The Iron Hands. But I'm going to go in with my lovely little Rage Powder Pokemon. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Belly Drum, Azumarill, and then we are going to rock in with Flamigo Co-Star. And then last but not least, do I bring in a Brute Bonnet again? I mean, Sucker Punch looks like it does some wonders. They have no terrain to kind of counter that. Um, we also do have the Grass Move to take out the Gastron. I'm liking that. I am liking that. I could also go into Espathra. Espathra's really not bad here either. And I kind of like Espathra, especially if Iron Hands going to come out here. I'm with Espartha. Let's rock out with that. Espartha, come on down here. Come join the squad. Let's grab ourselves a win here. But dude, that combo is so good. Just the psychic terrain alone is so broken. It is so good. It makes psychic moves do more damage. And you can't use first turn priority moves on the field. So if you have a team with it playing around it, it's so good. Again, if there was no psychic terrain, we probably would have won that match. Because I could have just Aqua Jet and taken out Armour whenever I want. But I can't. I couldn't have. Arcanine is going to come out here turn one. That's totally fine. Uh, I feel like here... Um, hmm, Golden Go seems like a little bit of a problem. Golden Go does seem like a little bit of a problem. Uh, I still want to belly jump you. Do I terrorize you in a straight water? I mean, that wouldn't really do much. Actually, it kind of would. We're going to do that. We don't want to be fairy type. We're just going to terrorize and we're just going to rage pattern the shot. That's how I play all day. So we end up, wow, we end up withdrawing Golden Go. That kind of sucks because I could have just got a free, what's it called? A free belly jump off here. It's actually totally fine, I guess. Now we're just straight terrored in the water. We can save that for later. I can definitely protect next turn. And what I'm looking to do here is just to get rid of my Azumarill. Right? I'm just looking for my Azumarill to die out. I'm or not my Azumarill, my uh, Volcarona just to die out here. That's a solid turn for us. It's a really solid turn. I don't think he's expecting the belly jump combo. I don't think he's, he's ready for it. But I feel like if you uh, have Flamigo, it's kind of just straightforward. You kind of can see that from a mile away. But Rocky Helm is going to chip up some damage. He is also going to take some recoil, which is big time for us. And look how much damage we already did to this Arcanine. Lovely. Belly jump out and about. This dude's like, oh, no. Come on now. <laughs> I've been using belly jump recently. Belly jump rocks. Love me some belly jump. We got the citrus berry to eat up here as well. And I feel like from here we just rage powder and we protect. And we wait to get out our uh, Miko, right? That's our play all day. I'm just going to rage powder protect. Have the Pokemon come after me, take this thing out, and then we get after the match. Because if I can get out the Migo, then I can uh, I can just take out the Gastron before the Zoom Roll goes and then use a water move. It'd be really good for us. So we're going to end up seeing a lovely little Terrasization from whom? Gastro? Yeah, Gastro's going to get it. What are you going, straight ground, Gastro? Fire Gastro. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, it's still a Storm Dream, which is awesome, but again, Flamigo's going to be the Pokemon to take that out. Flamigo is going to be the one. And and our opponent definitely got his hopes up with the Storm Dream Gaston play because he's like, he terrasized in the water. I was just more so scared of the uh, the Make It Rain coming out here and doing some crazy damage. But Rocky Helmet's going to hurt on the East Speed. Muddy Water's going to come through here. That's fine. That's totally fine. I want my Volcarona to die. I want it to be dead. I want it gone. No, no. Volcarona dodged that? No! <laughs> the one time I didn't want to dodge something. We're just going to go into another protect. We have to protect. Or I can hard swap into Migo. Um. Yeah, I have to go for another. I have to go for another protect. It's better than nothing. Because I can't use a move while Gastron's out on the field. So I might as well go for another protect. He ends up withdrawing Arcanine. That's totally fine. Can you just take out my Volcarona, please? Can you just get rid of it? Land is protect. Awesome. We landed another protect. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Sick. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Sweet. Rage powder flies. Like, finally. Can we can you can you land smutty water onto my Volcarona, please? Land it. Land it. Land it. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I asked for. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted in this life. Was that to happen? Okay, so Volcarona finally drops out here. Uh this seems pretty simple to bring out our lovely little Migo. Right? 
We got a co-star going. Uh, smart play for him would be to protect the Gastro. But I don't know if he has to moxie to do it. This is going to be my play, not Aqua Jet. We're just going to go for liquidation here. And then do I twist to a double kick, right? Double kick sounds good, but close combat sounds a little bit better. I don't want to drop my defense. I think double kick KOs. Or do we just brave burn and take the record down here? I'm going to double kick. I'm just going to kick this thing in the face twice. Let's see. Double kick comes out here. Yeah, KOs all day. Beautiful. I was going to be set, upset if it didn't KO, but we get rid of you, no problem. I don't think Azumarill can outspeed, but the reason I didn't want to go into a Brave Bird or a Close Combat was I really didn't want to drop my attack stat. Or my de defensive stat, so that's all good. So this thing ends up going next. He's going to go into a Shadow Ball into Azumarill, who should soak. You do soak, and now Liquidation comes in here, and this match is pretty much wraps, right? Well, Migo with the Choice Scarf outspeeds most. We can freely Aqua Jet now. Pretty easy match. And this was the combo that I want to get in, in match number one. But, again, the terrain did me so dirty. It was disgusting. It was disgusting it did me so dirty. But, yeah, double kick's not bad. 30 base power, but still. Hits twice. Basically brings it up to 60 with stab on top of that. Plus for plus six. It's pretty much wraps. We're going to go into an Aqua Jet here. I think he wants to go into an E-Speed. And Iron Hands is also there. So, we can fake out. He can do a lot here. We can fake out. And he can, do, he can do a lot here. Intimidate's going to bring us to plus five, which kind of sucks because I like the plus six, but it's okay. Yeah, we're plus five. Let me go. You're plus five as well. And yeah, from here, it's going to be simple Aqua Jet. And we still have what's called in the back end as Pather, which is beautiful for the Iron Hands. And then I'm choosing the double kick, so I'm just going to double kick this thing down. Nobody protects. We take out Arcanine. This match wraps. S Pather can solo this thing, no problem. And we're going to already chip up some damage, so... It's game set match. It's game set match. Considering it can't pick up the double KO. I don't think we KO with this double kick, but still nice damage. Oh yeah. Big time damage. Big time damage on that thing. Big time double kick damage. One more shot pretty much takes out this Pokemon. And we outspeed so I can go for liquidation next turn if I want to. Let's see what he ends up going for. Wild charge. It is gonna be wild charge into the Migo. My poor Flamingo. My poor Migo. It's all good. He did some work today. Did some work in match number two, but again, it is absolute wraps. Is absolute wraps. Azumarill outspeeds that thing. I can go for liquidation. I can take it out. And then I also have this Pokemon right here, Espathor, coming in here, which I can use stored power. I can use all this different stuff. So, we good. The liquidation going to pop here. And then, might as well Gleam, right? Might as well Gleam. Gleam's going to do more damage. And Espathor gives him a free focus, Ash. That kind of sucks. And wow, actually, Azumarill outspeed, or uh, you outspeed Azumarill. That's surprise, surprise. That is surprise, surprise. But hey. Iron Hands takes himself out with Wild Charge recoil damage. We take match number two. We're sitting one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. We're well, not perfect record, a winning record. So we lost one and we won one. We're still sitting at top 2,000, 1,755. Haven't even tried pushing, just been playing on recordings and doing really well. 12 and 5. Loving that record. Loving that record. But third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Palafin and Titar team with Golden Go, Flutter Mane. Gale Wings, Talonflame, and Ancient Tusk. I think Gale Wings is going to be the lead here. Um, if he wants to set up Tailwind, I mean he can. I feel like we should go back Belly Drumming, right? Belly Drum sounds so fun. I love Belly Drumming. So I'm going to go into Azumarill here. Rock out with Azumarill. Uh, I could go into Volcano, or Mousehold could be a little bit better in this situation. I do have Encore and stuff for that. Uh, we do have Taunt. Not too shabby. Um, hmm. Or do we just go Volcarona? Volcarona might be better. We can get off some burns and stuff. Volcarona is definitely better. We're going, we're going for it again. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring in the Brute Bonnet. Because Brute Bonnet is going to be solid, super effective onto the uh, the Great Tusk, the T-Tart, the Palafin. And then we can also Sucker Punch into uh, a few of these Pokemon and get off some big damage. So, Jeans is loving it. Jeans is loving it. I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in. Top 2,000 right now. If we win this one, we go to top 1,500. Probably close to 12. 100? So that could be good. That could be really good. But this team is a lot of fun to use. I know we lost the first battle, but again, you can, if you can set up Belly Drum, it could be wraps. I'm trying to think of what I could be scared of here. Maybe like a T-Tar and Flutter main lead? I just don't see that, though. Two double-hitting moves. EQ could be scary. Oh, yeah. Great Tusk could definitely be scary. Great Tusk could... Ooh, Great Tusk is definitely scary. I don't like the Great Tusk here. I do not. I simply don't. At that point, I could just maybe swap Volcarona into Co-Star. Could be a thing. That could be a thing. 
We'll see what they want to do. We shall see what our opponent wants to do here. The Great Toss? Anybody but the Great Toss. Water main and Talon. Okay, yeah, I can deal with that. I can I can deal with that. I can deal with the Rage Punch. I can deal with all that. I can deal with that. No terrestrialization needed. Uh, belly Drum definitely got to be our friend here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to Belly Drum. We are going to go into a straight Rage Powder. And we're just going to get every match that way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Flutter main seems like a problem, especially after Tailwind. They could probably outspeed me, but I still have Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet is where it's at. Aqua Jet gets some work done, so I really do like Aqua Jet here. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do. Because I feel like they got to know. Once you see the Flamigo on the team, you know something's up. You know, like, it's Belly Drum or, like, Don Dozo team. Like, you know something's up with stat changes, right? So I, feel like they, I feel like they definitely know that I'm trying to get off Belly Drum, but I don't know if they could stop it. That's the thing. They might know, but they might not know how to stop it. We'll see. Because that, that, that's a lot of times how it happens. It's usually like you know what's coming, but you don't have anything to stop it. And you try anyway, but it just still runs through you. But yeah, he ends up setting up a Tailwind here. That's fine. And what are you going to go for here? Maybe a Gleam? You Gleaming? He's going to sub up. Okay. So sub's going to pop here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Sub pops here and Belly Jump comes out here. So smart little sub there. Uh, I feel like here we just... Aqua Jet through, and we get rid of the Talon Flame, and then we try to take off Sub onto the, the uh, Flutter Main, right? I feel like that has to be a play. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that has to be a play. So instead of Rage Pattern, we're just going to do this, considering uh, Flutter Main could go for a double hitting move if it wants to. But Talon Flame could protect. Definitely could protect. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping we just slap up into this thing. And this thing's actually going to... What's it doing? Terrasalizing? Yeah, I was kind of confused at first. I was like, why is this thing going before my Azumarill? <laughs> but it's just Terrasalizing. Probably going in straight fairy, right? Straight fairy looking to drop some gleams on me. It's all good. As long as Talonflame doesn't protect, I feel like I feel like we could be thriving. I feel like Azumarill should be able to soak up the shot. It goes back behind the sub. You... Wait a minute. Oh, Gale Wings. I forgot about you, Gale Wings. I forgot about you, Gale Wings. I was so confused. <laughs> I was so confused. But Gale Wings keeps it... Having that first turn priority, Aqua Jet is going to fly. We are going to get rid of Talon Flame, and that is kind of tough because of Flutter Main, man. Flutter Main's a pain. I mean, I can double kick it now. I can, I can hands down double kick it. I might want to double down into that Pokemon. Flame's gonna come in here. Can you eat this? You might not be able to eat this. You do eat that. Okay, so good, good time eats. Big time eats. Substitute is a pain here. Uh, Brute Bond could come in here. I feel like we just go into you. And I do have Terra in the Terra Steel, which I think I have to use here, right? Because Gleam could be a problem. And Tusk is going to also fly. So Tusk comes out here. I think we double kick into the Flutter Main, Terrasalize, and then we Aqua Jet into the Great Tusk. Seems like simple play. It seems like he protects, though. It does seem like he protects. But yeah, Aqua Jet into you. And then we Terrasalize and we double kick. Because the first one, ooh, it's not going to do much. I feel like he has to protect the tusk here. He has got to protect the tusk here. He has got to protect the tusk. You have got to protect the tusk. That seems like an absolute must to protect the tusk. I'm gonna just start ripping in these Pokemon. How, how much? How many turns left in Tailwind? Is the real question. Two. You have to protect the tusk here. I feel like it's an absolute must. I'm gonna Terrasalize and I'm just gonna go into a Brave Burn. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to try to slice and go into an Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace can do enough damage to KO a lot of these Pokemon. So, I just feel like you have to protect the Tusk here, considering I have Aqua Jet and all that stuff. It just seems like a must, though. So. We're going we're gonna to try to make the hard read on the Protect. Because if I was him, I would protect Tusk and just go into, like, a Dazzling Gleam with the sub up. It just seems smart. And the Tusk does protect. So, we make a hard read on that, which is a great play for us. And we end up Aqua Jet in this down. So we get rid of the sub, no problem. Sub is gone. Aerial Ace should KO, uh, you no know, problem. And then I can Aerial Ace and get rid of the Tusk as well. Can you outspeed Flamigo? You do not. I was hoping Flamigo can outspeed with the Choice Scarf, but Tailwind's still out and about. So you're going to do a little bit of damage onto me, but I get rid of your Flutter Me, which is big time for me. Which is definitely big time for me. Aerial Ace is going to fly here. That's going to say bye bye Flutter Me. And this is such a good match. I think it comes down to who outspeeds. 
Is Great Tusk faster than my Migo? Because an EQ can do me so dirty. It could do me so dirty. We have a Brute Bonnet in the back end with the booster energy. Uh, again, if Flamigo can outspeed, we pretty much have this one on maps. They do not have Terra ready to go. Um, I could put the T Tar to sleep. Um, hmm. Sandstorm is kicking up. It's fine. It's fine. And we're going to boost our energy our attack. This is such a good battle. It's such a good battle. That was such a good play by me. So my attack's heightened. I want to see Flamigo's speed. This is close. This is a little too close, right? I got spore you. Do I put you to sleep? Do I put Titar to sleep? He'll be buried. Could just seed bomb it, or I could close combat. Close combat finishes this thing off all day, so I'm gonna go for the close combat. And I'm gonna hope that we outspeed the Great Tusk here. I really am, because EQ could be a problem. We could go protect EQ. That could definitely be an option. And I'm hoping that my Flamigo outspeeds. I have the choice scar for a reason. Outspeed this thing. Do him dirty, Nigo. You do not. That's GG's, right? You're dead. My soul. My soul hurting. My soul hurting, but maybe we still have a shot here. I mean, it probably has a fighting move to KO me. I'm going to take out the T-Tar, no problem here. He's going to low kick me. That's going to do some damage. But my defense is now dropping, which kind of sucks. We take out the T-Tar, no problem here. And is, is there any way we can win this? I would have I would have to land a spore here. I would have to eat up a shot, land a spore, and then just start seed bombing through this. Right? Only way. I mean, Brute Bonnet, I don't think you're faster than... I don't think you're faster than Tusk. Tailwind's gone. If I had Protect, that would be absolutely amazing. That would have been big time. But I was Choice Scarf. So I could just Protect it way south. Tailwind turns to win that one easily. But yeah, Brute Bonnet, there's no way you're out speeding. Uh, you, have to, you have to eat up a shot and pop a spore here but close comments can come in here and finish me off right yeah close combat comes in here this close this close we go one and two for today's video not too bad on the high mass here with this fun off meta team but still both of our losses were this close came down to one turn and one turn only it's always fun using some off meta teams but doing it in the top 2000s definitely very very tough had a blast playing this team you got the azumarill out there rocking the belly drum and then you just co-start with with Flamigo, and you pretty much have a solid set of two Pokemon. Really strong combo, unless you're going up against a few meta Pokemon like we had up against today. But still, Volcarona and Mousehold did great. Nice little support. You got the Brute Bonnet and Esperatha, more for a back end Pokemon. But all around, I think this team is amazing, especially if you're in low ranks. I feel like you could just dominate with this team. I really do feel like you could just set up Belly Drum, sweep, 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 just start dominating with the Pokemons and pushing up to the high ranks. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.